Welcome to Joe Hendricks Photography. I am Joe Hendricks and today we are doing the first interview with photographers and people in the photography industry to kind of get an inside look at what's going on and where the future of photography is. This is Justin Wright, Justin Wright Photography. Hi guys. And uh, he's an amazing wedding photographer, a good friend of mine, and uh, he likes a good beer once in a while, <laughs> and uh, he's just a nice, relaxing photographer who does great work, and you'll see some of it on the blog. How you doing today, Justin? I'm doing good. A little chilly, but yeah. good. This Nashville weather is pretty unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what'd you have for breakfast this morning? You're looking at it, man. Nice. Coffee? Yep. No carbs to get you going? Um, not today. I've been trying to eat breakfast on, on the regular, but um, haven't really gotten there yet, so I'm just sticking to coffee. Nice. What was your last photo shoot? Um, the last photo shoot was a wedding that I did on January 5th here in town um, at Houston Station. Nice. Houston Station is one of those places that's really dark. So photographers who um, are not familiar with low light situations kind of have a little bit of a tough time with it. What what'd you think about it? Um, <laughs> and what what are you shooting it with? Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, sorry, guys. How are you fine? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. He's gonna do the next interview. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He does speak. You nice. Like, uh, come on, buddy. Come on. Toy. <laughs> hey, <dude. laughs> so random. <laughs> um, so what do you shoot with first of all? Uh, so I shoot with the Nikon D3s, uh, which is awesome for low light. Um, and I'm generally shooting with a 35 1.4 or 85 millimeter 1.4. Nice. Which is, it really helps out in low light, dark ceremony situations awesome. like that. Did you shoot it with any flashes at all? Um, I the try ceremony? not to use flash during the ceremony at all, um, except maybe when they're uh, for the exit shot. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'm referring to notes because this is the first interview of the year, so we are just uh, going to be going by the seat of our pants. And uh, well, something that I wanted to ask you, what's his name? Roscoe. Roscoe. <laughs> so sorry, what's up, dude? What do you feel makes you unique right now? Um, right now, I'd say hopefully, I like to think that the way I interact with couples, um, just making them feel relaxed and um, making them forget I'm there a lot of times so I can uh, get the emotion that they have uh, between them and not interfere with that. and basically capture them in their the true sense of themselves. Well, I've seen you working before, and I can tell you firsthand that um, his couples will, are definitely relaxed around him, and he just has an ease. Uh, he has an Thanks. ease, but a rock star uh, feel at the same time. It's <laughs> kind of cool. Um, so, are you uh, editing on a Mac or PC? I edit on a Mac, and I mainly use Aperture to okay. edit, and then a little bit of Photoshop. Okay, nice. Yeah. That's a switch because most people I know uh, edit with Lightroom, so it's cool to see somebody editing with that. Yeah, and when I'm using Photoshop, sometimes I'll use Yellow Sky Actions, mm -hmm. which is a great action company. Man, I've heard great things about them. Yeah. Cool. Um, what has influenced your photography style over the years? Um, I would say um, one thing that helped me out a lot is figuring out um, what my, I wanted my photography to look like. Mm -hmm. um, so some of that was just based on uh, other photographers that inspire me. One is um, Ben and Aaron Christman. Um, yeah. Just have a very unique style, and um, I had to learn to be okay uh, doing what I wanted to do and not trying to be a people pleaser with my photography, uh, which is hard for weddings because I mean it's someone's wedding day, um, and there's a lot of expectations from the couple and from their parents, and so there's a healthy balance of meeting everyone's needs but still um, not getting burnt out because you feel like you're just shooting for everyone else all the time. Um, so I mean, you know, I always make sure I get the basic family shots, but I'm also trying to always push myself and be more creative and um, try things that I haven't tried. So you cover the things you need to and you're creative at the same time. I do get those uh, must have shots out of the way. Right. That's cool. That's a really good way to do it. Um, if you could shoot one person, who would it be, and why? Um, I've always wanted to photograph Patty Griffin. She's a singer-songwriter, and she's awesome. And just um, I saw her live one time, and she's had a really great, weird personality. I just I really just want to hang out with her 
is so I'd, if I could photograph her, I'd get to hang out with her a bit. So you do like a documentary style of her, maybe? Yeah, maybe just like at her house or something. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, Patty Griffin, if you're watching, uh, he wants to take pictures of you. Give me a call. So tell me about Camera Camp. I've I've heard uh, that you're trying to go into this direction of like teaching people. Yeah. So tell me more about it. So um, Camera Camp is launching March 1st. What's the website? It's cameracamp.net, and it is um, it, right now it's really geared towards beginners. Um, I have a passion for uh, you know basically moms and, and people that are just getting started um, that are taking photos of their kids and just documenting their life story. Um, I think something's been lost since we started switching to digital cameras as far as the quality of the photos that I felt like I had growing up with film cameras. Um, and so people are buying these really nice DSLR cameras and they're still shooting on auto and they're still getting the same results that they were getting when they had the point and shoot. Um, so just being able to empower people to take control of their camera and take the photos that they feel like they should be able to take and that they can take. Um, and just using very simple, easy to understand lessons to uh, teach them how to do that. Cool. And it's going to be all through video? Yeah, so it's um, online photography tutorials. Cool. And then uh, one thing I really want to do is build a community. Uh, so on Facebook and eventually a forum, um, someone, one of our members could ask a question. Um, and then later that day or the next day we could have a video for them explaining um, whatever their, their needs are. Wow, so that's pretty cool. So you're actually going to take um, the extra step to maybe answer somebody by showing them exactly how to do it and yep. they don't have to be here in Nashville. Exactly. Wow. And then um, another thing we want to do is have a live Q&A. Uh, so once a month it'll just be a live <laughs> streaming where people can type in questions and um, we'll do our best to, to answer. That's yeah, cool. Right there in the spot. Well, uh, you should check out Justin Wright's photography. What is your uh, photography website? Uh, it's just justinwrightphoto.com, um, or you can go to the blog, justinwrightphoto.com backslash blog. And you'll find out all about him, uh, his style, and everything, and we're going to put some, we have some pictures up on the blog, as you can obviously see. We will link to Camera Camp, so you can uh, go there. We'll link to his website. We'll link to Ben and Chrisman. Also, so you can see just why they are so inspiring. Um, if you have any questions for Justin uh, or me, you can email me at joe at joehendricks.com. I will make sure that it gets to you. Um, you want me to put an email link? Yeah, you? you can uh, hit me up on my Facebook. Um, well, it's just facebook.com backslash Justin Wright photography or Justin Wright photo. One of those will get you there. <laughs> and uh, y'all have a good day. We'll be doing some more interviews in the future. Take care. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, dude.